What's going on, guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking the body beat down here. Michael, at your most humble service. Today, we are going to touch on a subject that I have been wanting to touch on now for a, a few days. <clears throat> and I have kind of a list of things that uh, I'm going to do videos on. <clears throat> and this is the one that I've chosen, along with getting choked. So, uh, the topic for discussion today is... Uh, why is our body from the waist up so much larger than our body from the waist down? Don't laugh, guys. <clears throat> Girls. Well, simple, simple uh, way to put it is, what, what all do we do from the waist up, guys? <clears throat> we work out the chest. We work out the shoulders the traps, the biceps, the triceps, even the forearms will say, we work out the back, and some of us, not me, work out the abs. <clears throat> That's a lot of exercises that we are doing from the waist up. And anytime you work a specific muscle, there's always a secondary and a third dairy muscle getting worked out as well. So it don't matter what you're working out, you're also gonna work out something else. So we're getting a lot of working out from the waist up. Now, add on top of that, guys already kind of hold weight a lot of times. All right, I'm, I'm very open about it. I have put on some weight over the past several months. Uh, I dropped down to 218, kind of in my first off in my journey with my working out. But I quickly discovered that I needed to put on a little weight if I was gonna move some bigger weights. So, uh, even though I've put on some weight, it's clean weight. I eat pretty clean all the time, you know. Uh, and so you got to put on some weight. You got to put in the calories. You got to get the protein. You got to get some carbs. You got to get, you know, your fats. You got to get some stuff in there. And uh, so you're going to gain weight really quickly from the waist up. That's why a lot of times you'll see guys with these nice, big, beautiful upper parts and their legs look like they've been in a wheelchair for six months. So, <clears throat> what you need to do, and what I'm going to try and start doing, is implementing more legs into my routine. Uh, look how big the legs are. I don't know if you can see, but your quads, now I'm bad with names on stuff, so don't quote me on the names. Make up your own names. Quads, I mean, they go all the way from practically your hip all the way down here to your knee. That's a huge muscle. Your hamstrings go all the way from your glutes all the way down to your knee. Plus, you got your glutes that you got to worry about. You got calf muscles, everything. Your leg is a giant, big old ball of muscle. And look how often that you train it. A lot of guys only train once a week. Sometimes that's not a lot. Uh, sometimes they don't go, excuse the word, I don't like it. It's kind of gross, but balls to the wall. You know, a lot of times people think that they're working out the leg hard, but they don't really do a, a good hard workout. Uh, and then you got some guys that really go at it once a week, and then you got some guys that maybe do legs once every couple of weeks. Then you got some guys that might do them every six months. And some that, eh, I ain't doing no legs. God, golly gee, I might, I don't know, puke or something. I don't know. I don't want to hurt my back. So you got a lot of variations in there. Uh, you have to work your legs out. And my humble opinion is you really need to be working your legs out two times a week at least. Uh, and no, I don't include deadlifts. Uh, I do deadlifts every week, as you guys know. Deadlifts do. For me, the ones that I do are kind of more hamstringy the way that I do my deads. So my, my hamstrings do get a nice workout. My glutes, my hands, feels great. But you're also giving your back, your lats, your arms, your traps, everything, everything is getting worked out kind of with deadlifts. So uh, you really need two dedicated leg workouts. Now, that don't mean you got to have two days that are only legs. You can do legs and tries or legs and buys or legs and back or legs and show, whatever, you know, and you don't have to go crazy each day. You can do uh, you know, a lighter day and a heavy day, or vice versa. You know what I'm saying? So you don't have to go super crazy and kill yourself 
uh, on both days, but it's good to stimulate those leg muscles. You know, go rep heavy one day and go weight heavy another day. You know, mix them up, do whatever you want. But your legs are a big muscle and you really need to work them out. And uh, that's something that I've been kind of noticing here for quite a while and I've not really said much about it and I've not really done much about it. And now we also got to keep in mind that 99.9999% of us in here are not taking any sort of drugs, any sort of pads, you know, HGH, testosterone, anything, no steroids, no nothing, we're clean. So we got we to gotta look at the facts that we're never going to have them big, bubbly, round, beautiful muscles. So we have to get past that and just do the best that we can. Eat as best you can, drink plenty of water, get decent sleep, you know, work out, stay consistent, and uh, work them legs out more than once a week. and Really work them out good. Okay, I've already done them twice this week. I did a Monday on the Titan Compact Hack Press, and then tonight with my biceps, I did some squats. I didn't go heavy, I just kept it at 135, and I just did like six sets of 10 with 135. It felt pretty good. So I think that was a good kind of combination because Monday I, I went up pretty heavy on my uh, hat press. And so today I just kind of kept it light and easy. So that's just something I kind of wanted to touch on. And uh, I don't know if you guys have noticed in your lives or in the gym or this, that, and the other. But a lot of times you see a lot of us guys where we're big and hefty from here up. And we look a little wimpy, wimpy from the waist down. And uh, that's a big part of the reason. So you gotta hit them legs, guys. Well, I hope you kinda enjoyed this uh, kinda different video that I kinda wanted to do. And I got, got a little list over here, some other things that I wanna talk about. And uh, this is just one of them. So uh, please, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to The Body Beatdown. That's me, Michael. Hey, don't forget, leave some comments, all right? Good comments, helpful comments, okay? Please, good comments. What are your thoughts on it? Tell me what you think, guys. All right? Like, share, subscribe, comment. Oh, thank you. Get up, get out, get red, do it to it. We'll see you next time on the body beat down. Get up, get out, get red, and do it to it.